So here we are on our way to San Fernando uh, from Minglanilia. I uh, just want to show you some of the risks on this road. Here we have an armoured car about to hit us head on, giving half the chance. Yeah, he's on our side of the road. Um, we were th basically run off the road into the gutter. Um, so now we just got over that, uh, back on the road, and here we have a delivery driver doing exactly the same, just ramming people off the road to suit themselves. These idiots are the problem in the Philippines. Now we have a bus overtaking another one. The reason they do that is he's trying to get in front because then he gets the first pick of the customers coming up, uh, which is why they try and force their way to get in front of the other bus because then he'll try and block it a bit to stop the guy overtaking him. Now if you use V-Hire minibuses which come up from the south, this is one doing exactly the same as everybody else, he's just come right up on my side of the road. Um, they're like a bus but they normally run from the ferry ports to SM Mall and they're pretty much all doing the same, they're all trying to rush because the more deliveries they do in a day, the more passengers they can make and get. Um, by doing more more runs, the more money they make. Please be aware it's not all fast moving traffic. The trust, the motorbikes with the sidecar do it as well. They generally have no lights, move very slow, and I've seen at least five of them on this road that have been knocked over um, because they'll pull out in front of trucks and all sorts. Um, I don't know why. I mean, he's probably the slowest moving vehicle on the road besides a BMX, but they still do crazy stuff with them. Things get far more dangerous in the dark because a lot of these vehicles don't have lights. Uh, you'll you'll see some here. There's a bus on the left, no lights on whatsoever. Uh, Tricycle doesn't have any on its side vehicle. Taxi, no lights. Bus, no headlights. Um, and we're just heading back now um, we're probably about 20 minutes out but here we go we've got somebody coming up by the looks of it yeah this this is somebody in our lane going head on to us bear in mind both lanes have got two rows of traffic there's no reason for them to be on my side of the road whatsoever but pff, welcome to the Philippines just taking a look at the college on the the right hand side when somebody does this just pulled out straight in front of us to the point we had to actually emergency stop obviously everyone's concerned everybody just drives quick Some, somebody's actually caused an accident or nearly did everybody uh, gets out of the junction um, while they can <laughs> this is the Philippines what you wouldn't have heard on there was actually full-blown um, emergency braking um, with me on the back bear in mind I've got a camcorder in one hand but I always hold the the metal frame on the back of the motorbike with with my hand um, just to stabilize it now I'm hoping you found this video useful because uh, th this actual route is Miglanilla, is San Fernando and back and somebody was asking me about doing this route on a daily basis because these girlfriends in San Fernando um, I recommend against it because those buses you see in front um, are prone to accidents especially in the wet um, but also as you can see those all the incidents we've had are, are from one run imagine doing that for two weeks um, the potential of having accidents quite high um, I don't like doing the route myself I generally don't go as a pillion passenger most of the time either because I, I don't take as many risks as my father-in-law does. There was a bit on this video that's not there where he's basically um, we're overtaking one of the smaller buses and there's a big bus coming the other way and on we're on the motorbike going through the two of them and I can actually ha my legs actually touch both vehicles. Um, as he was overtaking not my best moment but at the same time I was actually videoing something to my right so when I turned around it was just a case of I felt these things on my legs and then you know you suddenly whip round and 
it's like what the <laughs> so I do hope you find this useful because I know a lot of people aren't familiar with the the way transport is in the Philippines um, don't travel in rain if you can help it don't travel at night if you can help it mainly provincial the city itself I travel at 2 3 in the morning no problems um, there's a lot more going on with stuff going on it means vehicles are traveling slower as such the potential of being killed is a lot less uh, provincial roads they still use the same mentality but vehicles could be moving three times faster which is why it's not bump it's completely destroyed and people killed thanks for watching